damn it, I'm late! Who didn't set the alarm for the echo announcement? What do I need, post notifications for myself to upload this shit? God damn! What's up everybody, Shadow Ninja here, and welcome back to Rage Quit. I know before I mentioned on the channel that we would be covering a lot more Overwatch stuff, so uh, here you go. Promise fulfilled. Now let's talk about Rage, Rage Shadow Sh Nope. Not quite there yet. But seriously guys, about a week ago, Hero 32 was announced to be none other than Echo, a flying iRobot looking ass plagiarist dreams. Now you may be wondering, what the hell am I talking about? Well, it's quite simple actually, the devs decided to make a new female robot character that has a pretty cool backstory, as she was engineered by the woman who kinda inadvertently started the Omni Crisis. <laughs> this particular woman joined Overwatch to help combat the Omni Crisis, but eventually died. As a failsafe, she created Echo, who inhabits some of her creator's personality traits, and has the ability to constantly observe and learn to give herself an advantage in battle. And by the looks of the PTR, that's exactly how she's gonna play. Echo's got some really cool stuff by the looks of it. She can fly, she can shoot micro sticky bombs that explode, she shoots with her fingertips. What? And probably the most bizarre part is that her ult lets her turn into any other enemy hero for a couple of seconds. What the fuck? That means for a brief period, she downloads the enemy hero, becomes them, and has a super fast ult charge with them. So hypothetically, if you're a pretty good player, you could have multiple high noons in one use of Echo's ultimate as McCree. Oh wow! That's amazing! Where's she at though? Heh, <laughs> uh, about that. Some fans speculated Echo would be dropping earlier in the week, but we were very mistaken. She's still in PTR now, and the devs are looking into nerfing her a bit before her launch, and some fans are pretty much spending their entire quarantine praying to the Blizzard gods for some Echo content. They want me, but really, they need you. But you know what? From what I've seen, Echo can do some really sketchy stuff in live games, and we don't want to have another Battlefront 2 fiasco with an overpowered character wiping entire enemy teams. I'm especially interested though in seeing what kind of cosmetics she's gonna get. A character like this has a lot of skin potential. Either way, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for Echo's release, because I know us boys on console will be dying over here. I've also heard from some sources that this is gonna be the last hero before Overwatch 2 comes out. You already know I'll be covering that game as well, so let me know your thoughts about Hero 32 in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed my little overview, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see me cover more Overwatch content in the future. But guys, this is gonna conclude the video. I am Shadow Ninja, and you just watched a Rage Quit video about Hero 32 in Overwatch. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next one.